I'll be talking about similarities between modern web frameworks, but before I start, I will talk about myself. I'm from Georgia, I'm a backend developer. Currently, I'm working as PLSQL. I also creating uh, web and mobile applications, and um, today we're talking about similarities between Laravel and Django. But uh, I want to tell you where the idea is coming from. One time when I was talking with my friends uh, about some kind of metals, uh, he said uh, something about cesium, and uh, I googled cesium. I wanted to have more information about it, and the first page of Google was very interesting. In the first page was uh, cesium JS. I never heard about these frameworks, but in this moment I realized again that there is thousands of frameworks of JS, and of course it's very good uh, to be a lot of frameworks. You have. Mm -hmm. You can make choose which one is the best. You can uh, resolve your problems with different solutions. But uh, this is also very confusing for new developers. And then not only for new developers, this is very confusing, I think, for everyone. One time uh, I wanted to start learning uh, some frameworks and uh, in one month. Uh, and before I started learning, they released new versions. They make it deprecated older versions, and they changed everything. And but we have different situations in uh, backend world. There is also a lot of frameworks, but I think uh, they are similar. They are using same design patterns to resolve same problems, and I think it's very good. And uh, today we're talking about Django. I took Django from Python, and from different language I have uh, taken Laravel. Laravel is one of the best framework in PHP. Uh, Django and Laravel uh, both are in the top uh, six frameworks in the GitHub's ratings. They have a lot of stars. They are also side to side in the hot frameworks. Hot frameworks is a site who generates scores uh, using GitHub and Stack Overflow. And for information, there is also uh, one framework from Python in the top GitHub 6 framework. This is Flask. And uh, uh, there is a link. In this link, uh, there is a uh, worksheet. If you don't know which one is for you best, uh, Django or Flask, you can answer the questions and system generates which one is best for you. OK. And uh, I will review these topics today, routing system, structure and of the system, data layer, and presentation layer. Starting from routing systems, routing systems is one of the most important part in every application, I think, uh, because when you are a web programmer, when you're starting to learn a new framework, the first time you want to print some, something in the page, and what are you making? You're going in the you are a uh, routing uh, file, you're just editing something, uh, for example, localhost test, and you're printing hello world. And it's very important uh, how it looks like routing files. In both, in both frameworks, we have the same style. Uh, you can see how it looks like uh, uh, URL patterns, uh, Django URL patterns using regular expression. And, but uh, in this example, we have different views. And uh, this both uh, URL patterns, um, is this, this links using these URL patterns. And what's happening in Laravel? In Laravel, we have the same situation. You can view how similar they are. Um, and the uh, next example, I will show you how can you use the same views. So we have changed something. Now we can see here is optional parameter post ID. And if you don't want to get error from your views, you may uh, you, you just def define default parameter post ID. And now we're using the uh, same view. And how it is realized in Laravel. So you see, we're creating the, the here optional parameter. And here we define option, uh, he, we define default parameter for ID. I think they are very similar. And we're using uh, one uh, post for uh, every routing. Next, about structure of the system. Uh, in modern uh, software architecture, it's uh, very common to use to separate your application between pieces, uh, because when you want to change in something, you change only, uh, only 
particular piece and without changing uh, any other pieces. It's very common. And it's very common to make separation between data access layer, between presentation layer, and between business layer. And this idea is reported, uh, is supported uh, both frameworks. In Django, we have MTV, and in Laravel, we have MVC. But what it means, they have just different names. The idea is the same, because model stands from uh, data access layer in both frameworks. Template means uh, view, where you have uh, presentation layer. And view in Django is like controller for MVC, where you have business logic layer. Now we interact with databases. Uh, for uh, accessing databases for run queries, it's very easy in both frameworks because you just need change in uh, make changes in only one file. There is uh, data, there is settings PI in Django, and uh, there is database PHP in Laravel. They look very similar, and you also can connect with uh, different databases. You can also connect with multiple databases in both frameworks, and the syntax is very similar. And now about active record pattern. Active record pattern, this was named by Martin Flower in uh, his book, and uh, this, is very most, this is very most interesting pattern when you're working with databases. And what it means, you're creating uh, in your model classes, and each class corresponds to tails from your databases. And uh, you just uh, can imagine that uh, each table is like classes. When you're working with objects, you're working with, uh, with tables. And you can run queries, you can make any operation with. Uh, and ORM is a technique, ORM technique uses active record patterns. And this is very useful philosophy. Both frameworks use active record patterns. There is small differences between techniques, but both frameworks use uh, active record patterns. Uh, this is Django documentation. And know about database migrations. Here is a quote from Django documentation. You can read it. Migration are Django's way of uh, preparing changes you make to your models into your database schema. They are designed mostly automatic, but uh, you need to know when you make migrations and turn them and the common problems you migrate into. And we have also migration uh, Laravel. Migrations are like version control for your database, allowing to the team easily modify and share the application database schema. Migrations are typically pirated with Laravel schema builder to easily build your application database. And uh, it is very to use migrations and this is very best practice practice to use migrations. It's very easy also. Uh, I'm going to show you how, it's, how we can make migrations. We just describe here our database. Our database has first name and the last name. We just describe it in models PI. After you add these settings, you add literature into settings installer tabs. After this, you run manage pay, make migrations literature. And after this, here it will be created automatically file, for example, 000 in shell PI. And after you run manage PI migrate, uh, system creates automatically table in your database. You can check your database and it will be created. And how is realized database migrations in Laravel? Uh, no, you, you are running PHP command. After this, there will be created YAR merge day second character PHP, for example. Uh, after this, you default uh, code generated, and you just need to edit your default code. You editing default code, you writing description of tables here. Uh, we have the same structure here, first name and last name. And after this, when you run PHP artisan migrate, uh, system will create automatically a table in your database. OK, now about presentation layer. Uh, each frameworks, modern web frameworks, using uh, template systems, because I already mentioned there is very good practice to have separate between uh, presentation layer and between business layer. Because, for example, when you are uh, working uh, with front-end developer and you are making same uh, same task, same module when you're creating, it's, uh, it's very hard to work in together with one file. You need every time git push, git pull, and it's not very convenient. And uh, when you have separated between 
business uh, layer and the new separate presentation layer, it's very easy to make changes every time and only edit a particular piece of your application. Django uses Django template language and Laravel uses Blade, but they are very similar and I will show you similarity. In the first picture, we have Weaves PI, which is control, like controller for PHP. We just rendering, uh, and we just have uh, characters HTML, and what happening in character HTML, when we want to print content of variable, we just make something like this. And we are making something like this. They are very similar when we, wa when we want to print what uh, contains variable. In the presentation layer, also we have template tags and filters. You can use this picture, how we can write if else. And presentation layer also supports template tags and fields. We can use uh, loops here. For example, I have for each loops here, and here I have four loops. For easy tasks, we can use presentation layer loops. And well, what is the idea of presentation layer? I, I'll, I already mentioned, but there is very good template inheritance allows you to build a base Kelton template, and it contains all the common elements on your site and defines blocks that chill templates can override. But Blade also has uh, inheritance. And we can show her how, uh, the, how inheritance works in, in presentation layer. We just create in the parent, for example, sections, for example, block. And in the child, we just override everything. And we just extending which is parent. We are uh, writing here which file is parent. And presentation layer also um, uses includes. Include is very common for programmers when you want to include some file, when you don't want to uh, writing same data again and again and again, uh, you just using include. And uh, using include, you including file. Here is examples, both have very similar syntax. And you can also include file with uh, parameters uh, and with arguments. Here is exam how, uh, example, how can you uh, import file with parameters? The syntax is very similar here. And the finally, I want to talk a few words about very interesting frameworks. Glean frameworks, it is not very popular frameworks right now. Uh, he is created by R.S. Kanakin, and creator of this framework said that uh, he have inspiration from Laravel. So we can say that this is Laravel for Python, and uh, it is also very similar like Django and Laravel. It's very good frameworks, and it will be good if you be contributor of these frameworks because he, in the right moment, works alone, and it is very, I, I have tested, and it's very useful frameworks. Thank you for listening, and this is resources, which one have I used for this presentation. Thank you. Questions? Mm -hmm. Anyone? We don't have any questions here. Oh, we do. Good. So, uh, what is different in these frameworks? Uh, what is Django is missing or in other way? There are very, mm, there, there are a lot of differences too, of course. For example, Laravel does not have built-in admin panel. He does not have built-in admin panel, but Django has built-in admin panel. And here, uh, here is also differences. If you're working with web services, here you're using different techniques. Uh, if you're using with REST web services, you are using different techniques. And there is also a lot of differences. 
but uh, I wanted to say that uh, my main idea and my philosophy in these frameworks are the same, mm, but of course there are very many different differences, uh, as in PHP and Python is main differences. So in these frameworks are a lot of differences. For example, admin panel. Uh, I would like to ask if it's possible to somehow switch to templating system for Laravel to use Jinja, which I prefer, or vice versa. Yes, you, you can use another different uh, template systems. For example, in PHP, is also a lot of uh, uh, template engines, for example, Smarty. And you can include, but uh, Blade is automatically included in Laravel. It's built-in template engine. But if you don't like Blade uh, syntax, you can change and you can use another uh, template engine. Anyone else? Okay, yeah, have you tried Flask? Can you try to add it to the uh, I have tried Flask, but not very hardly, and I cannot speak about uh, similarities between these frameworks. I don't have so much experience with Flask. No more questions? Okay. Uh, th that was pretty short. So uh, the next talk will start at 16.20, uh, right? So you have about 20 minutes to drink more coffee, maybe. Tweet. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Guga. That was nice. Thank you, sir.